carbon dioxide. Setiap hari, rakyat Malaysia menghasilkan lebih 40,000 tan metrik tan sampah. Dan yang mengkhawatiri adalah jika ikut statistik lebih 30%, more than 30% are actually food waste. Kita kata harga beras naik tapi makanan tiap-tiap hari buang. Dan antara yang dibuang, bayangkan satu hari sampah 40,000 tan. 30% adalah makanan. Bermaksud dengan kata lain, rakyat Malaysia buang makanan. Okay, satu hari lebih 12,000 metric tan. You know how much people we can feed with this 12,000 metric tan of food? There's a reason why it is very important. Our media is our strategic partner. We must work together to highlight, to educate our uh, all Malaysians to have a new lifestyle, to avoid food waste especially. In the past, our food waste rate was 43 percent. Now it's reduced to 32 percent, but still very high. One third of our rubbish are actually from the food we serve. So this one must be avoided at all costs. Banyak semua orang, termasuk diri saya pun adalah salah satu pihak yang salah. Kadang-kadang saya nak barang kurus, saya dah habiskan makanan. Ha, tapi, we have a zero waste policy. Saya tahu semua nak nampak slim, tapi that's a reason why you don't order. You don't buy what you don't need. You only spend for what you need, but not what you want. That is a new lifestyle. We got to make it looks very cool, you see, to avoid waste. Otherwise, we always order a lot, and then we don't finish it. Okay, for example, ini makan sate, memang tiga aja, tapi order sepuluh. Akhirnya tujuh buang juga. Ah, tapau pun tak nak. So that is what we should avoid. At the same time, it's a change of attitude towards a more sustainable lifestyle. It's a change of lifestyle and attitude problem.